This was a scene that looked like it was out of a movie. We're talking about a cow that was on the loose over the weekend in Oakland County and made its way onto I-75 in Holly Township. But it quickly became a high-speed chase with plenty of literal horsepower. There you see a Wrangler on horseback with a lasso, <laughs> lassoing that cow himself. And joining me today is that cowboy, Ricky Littlejohn. Good morning. Hey. How are you guys? <laughs> we're doing great. Uh, when I saw that video, you were the first person I wanted to meet and talk to. So how did you get this call? How did this all unfold that you ended up on your horse on I-75? So uh, about 10 years ago, um, I started a little business. We actually catch loose cattle for a living. Oh, wow. um, so my name has kind of been pretty popular here in Michigan and people tagged me in this lady's post and was telling me that this cow was on the side of I-75. And so we gathered up our team and we decided to uh, come over there and see if we can help. I mean, the last thing we wanted to do was see anybody hit this cow and potentially hurt themselves or hurt the cow or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, who knew that there was a business that <laughs> this is how are you busy? <laughs> do you get many calls like this? Man, it started out, we caught like maybe five cows a year. Now it's turned out to be two to 250 cows a year. Oh my gosh. So how many of yeah. you were out there? I mean, we just saw you on the horse doing all the, the yeah. pretty yeah. impressive Me. work here. There was three of us out there. Um, my buddy Austin Callier came out there and my fiance actually put a rope on him um, in the middle of the road too. When he jumped the guardrail, she come and put another rope on him so I could get on the other side of the guardrail and, and pull him off the road. Unbelievable. So where'd you get these <laughs> skills? Because that was some very impressive lassoing. I, I I started, I actually started high school rodeo way back when I was a lot younger. And then I just practice every day that I can practice. I practice roping, we practice tying down and we dang sure try to have good horses and good dogs around. <laughs> It's awesome. Now, are you from this area or did you grow up somewhere like Texas? Yep. I, <laughs> nope. I, I grew up uh, in Concord, which is about 20 minutes southwest of Jackson. Incredible. Well, great work. Very impressive. I mean, are you proud of your skills as much as we are? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I love doing this. So I do this for probably half my living, so I, I dang sure enjoy it. All right. Well, we dang sure enjoyed it, too. Thank you, Ricky. <laughs>